Imagine living in a country where more than 13,000 individuals convicted of homicide, either in the US or elsewhere, are roaming free. It sounds shocking, right? But that's exactly what United States Immigration and Custom Enforcement recently revealed. Now, these immigrants convicted of serious crimes like murder are not currently in ICE detention. Instead, they are part of what ICE calls its non-detained docket. Now, this means that ICE knows where they are but, for various reasons, is not actively holding or prioritizing them for detention. Now, this alarming information came to the light after Congressman Tony from Texas asked ICE about its earlier this year. Now, in response, ICE's acting director shared as of July 21, 2024, there were around 6 lakh plus immigrants with criminal records in the US. Out of that number, a straggling 13,000 plus had been convicted of murder. Congressman posted this on social media, stating that Americans deserve to be safe in our community. Now, it's really unclear when the first of these 13,000 individuals entered the US. Now, some law enforcement officials believe that many of them came under previous administration, including that of former President Donald Trump. While awaiting their immigration hearings, these individuals remain at large in the country, continuing to live their lives outside of the detention. Now, during a campaign event in Michigan, former President Donald Trump seized on these figures to criticize Biden's administration. He called these individuals hard, tough, vicious criminals and used the statistics as a proof of what he has been warning about for years. Meanwhile, the White House has not yet responded to this report, but has raised questions about how US handles immigration and crimes. The complex system involves federal, state and local authorities, often make it really hard for these agencies to work together effectively. Now, sometimes, individuals with serious criminal records slip through the cracks. According to law enforcement sources, some of these individuals enter the US because border officials didn't know about their past crimes at that particular time. In other cases, immigrants who have already served their sentence were released by the local or state authorities because ICE being informed, making it really hard to track them. ICE does prioritize arresting immigrants who have committed serious crimes like homicide. However, with the limited resources, it's challenging to keep up. ICE recently had over 7.5 million migrants on its non-detained docket. People who have migrated cases are pending but are not in custody. Despite these challenges, some local government have become cooperating with the ICE specifically as concerns over migrant crime grows. Now, this story shed lights on the challenges that US face in balancing immigration enforcement and public safety. And it leaves many wondering what step will be taken to address this serious issue. Do let us know in the comment section below what is your view on this and follow Times XV for more such stories.